Jeff Wilson here with Ryan Couture. Yeah, I'm loving your bodyguard cat in the background there. What's uh, what's his or her name? Uh, that's Otto. He's apparently doing a gargoyle impression right now. Looking over yeah, that it's horrifying. I'm scared. I'm not. I'm not coming anywhere. <laughs> I'm not even putting my face closer to the screen. Um, Locked in the front hey. door and hide under the bed. <laughs> uh, I appreciate you taking the time, and I wanted to talk to you a little. Well, first of all, I wanted to say uh, uh, I met your dad um, in uh, in a, about ten years ago. There, when when he was uh, promoting um, the the second Expendables, I think, and uh, he was great. We started talking about the beginning of your career, and uh, it might have been even a little bit longer there. I don't want to date myself. And then uh, and we had a really good conversation about two guys fighting from extreme of couture and he really turned his chair and started talking to me because he knew I had done my research. Um, I, I knew he, I know he walked himself to the hospital a couple months ago. How's he doing? Yeah, he's good. He uh, was, yeah, I don't know. He's, I think, superhuman. He bounced back from that like it never happened. So um, we were, we were obviously awfully scared that, that day and, and that week, but, but uh, it seems like everything's rocking and rolling for him and, and he's made the, uh, the adjustments he needed to and, and, I don't expect we'll we'll see him in that position anytime soon. Oh, that's it's amazing, man. And I thought that Chael Sonnen really uh, spoke at how it was when they talked about, you know, pain and where he was at and who he was. And they said, "Listen, you're asking the guy the wrong questions. He's kind of an ultimate legend in, in MMA, UFC Hall of Famer. Uh, ask me the questions, I'll answer for him." That like kind of thing. When <laughs> the guy was with him, anyway. Uh, very cool, man. I'm so happy to hear that. Um, I mean. Uh, yeah, that's fantastic. Anyway, let's talk about fight preparation and uh, walkout song. What, what's your favorite walkout song? Um, I, I used a lot of them over the course of my career, but the one I went back to the most often uh, was Electric Worry by Clutch. Um, Ele Ooh, I love Clutch, man. Electric yeah, Worry, I love, I'm a big fan, dude. I love them so much. H how did you pick that song? Uh, the first time I saw them live, I just remember – the energy during that song and the crowd going wild to it and, and uh, just the vibe of it really stuck with me. And, and uh, so I started using it after that. And, and I think I, I must've used it for probably six fights uh, from that point on. And, and let's switch it up now and again, if I was, uh, you know, had, had a reason if it was in a specific city or wanted to kind of cater to that. But, uh, but that was always my favorite, my, my best kind of best energy, I think to walk out to. Absolutely. I'm a huge fan of Clutch. I've been loving them. I've seen them live too. They're fantastic. Um, when you hear it outside of the gym or outside of the walk, how does it feel physiologically? I start looking over my shoulder like somebody's going to come try and hit me. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I just get stoked and, and it, it takes me right back to that, you know, about to walk out the tunnel and hearing those first kind of bluesy notes of the song and gets me, gets me amped up every time I hear it. Yeah, fantastic. No, I, I'm, I'm excited to share that with everybody and, and to connect you and you, you and Clutch uh, after. I know you're running the gym now full time and, and doing some awesome stuff. And how has COVID been for you? Uh, that's been uh, a pain in the ass. <laughs> um, yeah. you know, we, were, we were closed down, couldn't, couldn't have anybody in for, for two full months. Um, you know, we still managed to get the, the couple people who did have fights scheduled were able to get in and do what they needed to do. But it's been strange times. And you know, being able to slowly open back up has been exciting, but it's been a challenge to uh, figuring out how to navigate the different, you know, precautions we need to take to keep people safe, but people to train and that they're from us. So uh, it's been a challenge, but I feel like we're getting okay. And, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to hopefully getting back to something more like normal in the next couple of months. Yeah, I hear good things about the club out there and uh, and your guys' coaching. Um, uh, any any thoughts or, or preparations for you? Uh, to get back into uh, into the fights, I think it's in 2018 since your last fight, and then 2019, and then COVID hit, right? So, yeah, it's uh, I, I kind of have had shifted focus, and and you know, really, I've been enjoying team and, and running my classes, and then got more involved in in actually managing the gym and the operation side of things, and that's kept me super busy. So, um, I, I don't think I could put together a proper training camp if I had to. So, I, I haven't really been looking for a fight and. You know, I'm comfortable kind of making this transition into into running the gym full time. Yeah, no, I love it, man. Well, I appreciate you being on our show. Thanks so so much for taking the time. I'm a huge fan of Clutch. I love that you are too. And uh, let's talk again soon. Sounds great. My pleasure.